What's up guys, it's Cameron here, back with another video. If you're new to my channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below and turn those post notifications on so that you don't miss an upload. In so many of my previous videos, you guys have been asking me like how I do my makeup and to do a makeup routine video, so I'm finally going to be giving that to you guys. So pretty much today I'm gonna be showing you guys my everyday makeup routine. I say every day because I do not wear makeup every day, but if I were to wear makeup every day, this is the routine that I would go for. Sorry if you guys can hear the cars driving by, I say this in every video, but I'm going to continue saying it in case there's new viewers coming in. I live on a very busy road, so you're definitely going to hear some cars driving by in my videos, but it's just something that we have to work with. Anyways, this makeup routine is literally my go-to makeup routine. So like if I'm going out to a fancy restaurant for dinner, I'll wear this makeup routine. Or if I'm just running to the mall, I'll also wear this makeup routine. I don't like how I look with eyeshadow, so this is pretty much like a nice glowy face look. And you can really dress this makeup look up with whatever you're wearing, whatever hair you're doing, and all that good stuff. Obviously, I'm just wearing a simple pony ponytail today and a hoodie but it could still look cute with this and it could also look cute with like a dress and heels so I'm gonna show you guys that makeup look today I have so many products to show you guys so without further ado let's get on into the video okay I don't want to get my black headband all dirty so we're gonna put on one of my little fuzzy headbands I usually will get these at Marshall's or TJ Maxx I love them I love having multiple of them because they do get dirty you want to make sure that you're obviously washing them of course it's purple it doesn't really match the purple in my hoodie but we're gonna just go with it you guys also the background is it's not that cute in my room but just ignore it okay i literally had to pull my desk out from my window just so that like i had enough space to put like my tripod and my ring light back there i also just want to say real quick i am not in any way shape or form a beauty guru so if i'm not making any sense in some of the things i'm saying and i don't sound like correct you guys just don't hate okay if you want to like give me some tips in the comments you totally can but, so i actually like to start with my eyebrows before doing my face makeup because i feel like it's just easier to clean them up by doing the face makeup after so i'm gonna start with the brows for my brows i've been using this for years now this is the Anastasia brow powder duo and I know a lot of people will either use a pencil or a dip brow pomade I personally like the powder because I feel like it's like the best way you're gonna get like a somewhat natural looking brow and it's not gonna look too harsh pencils do that as well but I just have found that the pencils run out so quickly and that I'm constantly spending money to re-up on those pencils and they cost more than like getting one of these so this is just so much more worth it I also use the Anastasia brow brush I don't know what number it is or what exactly it's called I got it many years ago um, and like the writing faded off so the brow powder duo that I'm using is in the shade soft brown so usually i'll start on the darker side which you guys can see i've hit pan there and i'll just like go on the outer corner and just put like a little bit on my brush and tap it off and before we actually go in i'm just gonna brush my eyebrows out i do like to brush them to the side and then upwards a little bit as well so that we can get some real like brush strokes in there and we're gonna get to work so i'll try to like give you guys little pointers and tips on how i'm actually filling in my brows so you know what we can probably zoom in let's see if we can do that okay you guys are getting up close and personal with me just for a little bit so i can actually just show you guys how I shape out my brow and you guys can get like a better idea of it so first I'm gonna take this side of the brush and I'm just gonna start at my arch so I don't have much eyebrows as you guys can tell they have definitely grown out more though but I want to like create a little bit of an arch to give myself a little bit more shape um, I do actually like my brow shape it's more that they're just really light hairs and I, they're not thick but we're starting at the arch to give a little little more of a shape so if you guys can see I'm going a little bit above where my hair is just to give that a nice little arch and then I usually will just start to fill in the end part near the arch. This is just where I always start. I don't know if it's actually correct. I'm brushing in the direction of the hairs just to make it look a little bit natural. And usually I'll stop like in between, brush it out a little because we don't want it to look too harsh or dramatic. That was like years ago. In high school, I was looking crazy with the brows, you guys. Like they were literally like blocks on my freaking face. So now I'm just going to work my way in towards the front of the brow. And I'm doing a little, little line very lightly underneath, as you guys can tell. And then slowly just filling in the other surrounding area and now i'm just kind of brushing upwards because this is the direction my hairs are going in and so now i'm going to dip into the lighter shade a little bit i still have the darker shade on my brush a little and we're going to work our way into the inside the front of the brow i don't like it to be as dark you always want the outside darker than the inside i'm pretty sure so that's what i try to do here and as you guys can tell i'm just really lightly stroking in the direction of the hairs so something that I really do when I do my brows is I like to really clean them up with concealer. So if you guys can tell, I went a little bit far down on this brow. I don't really love how it looks. So I'm just going to leave that for now. When we do the concealer, we'll straighten it out a little bit. So it's not something to worry about. And I love with the brow powder that you get two different colors. Like you get um, a lighter color and a regular color because um, it's nice to have one for kind of the outside and then one for more the inside. And then you can kind of blend the two together and work with it. I'm just going back in and touching up the outside a little bit more. So that's the brow that we're going to be going with as you guys can see 
it's a little bit dark um right now it looks a little blocky on the inner corner but we're gonna fix it you guys with some concealer and we're gonna keep brushing out the brows as well so i'm gonna conceal this brow first because i'm gonna do this brow completely off camera so it doesn't take up too much time for your brow highlight and brow concealing I'm pretty sure you're supposed to use like a lighter concealer so i'm using the cover girl true blend concealer in the shade light ivory i love this concealer so much i use this concealer for my brows for my face everything like i'm obsessed i haven't used another concealer in forever and i'm just using this little real techniques concealer brush i think detail brush i got it in like a kit a long time ago it's super super thin you want a really thin brush to conceal those brows i'm just using the point of it and i'm just gonna slowly draw like a very thin line underneath my brows making sure to like start it close to my brow so that it really cleans it up especially that part underneath that i said i wanted to fix a little bit I feel like I'm doing such a bad job at explaining. I hope I'm making sense, you guys. Beauty gurus, I literally give so much credit to. I love watching makeup videos. For someone who doesn't wear makeup that much, um, I have a lot of makeup though, but I love, love, love watching makeup. Also, I just want you guys to know, I don't know, you know, you're up close, so you probably can see. I have very dry um, eyes around like my lid and my, under my eyebrow. I do have eczema, so it's really hard sometimes when I wear makeup, it will show. So if you notice that, I'm sorry. I try to get rid of it. I've seen dermatologists. It just doesn't always fully go away and it's very very bad right in this spot here so it's hard to blend out um concealer and like foundation and stuff but we're working with it as you guys can see i'm like kind of just pulling the concealer down a little bit and patting it into my skin so it's kind of blended out a little bit but i don't want to fully blend it out because you like the bright look under your eyebrows at least i like it and i know this is going to be controversial i know some people don't conceal above their eyebrows i've literally heard it's like a sin in the beauty community i'm sorry you guys i do it because they don't seem as clean to me for me personally my brows if i I don't conceal on top obviously you know i'm not doing it to highlight or anything but i'm just using a little concealer just to clean it up because whoa i did not put that concealer on straight at all okay i think i fixed it <laughs> see i'm just cleaning them up because they looked a little messy and then i'm just patting the concealer into my skin and if it's gonna bother you like that you use the same shade as you used under your brow above your brow you can use a darker concealer shade it just doesn't really bother me because once i put foundation on it's not really like noticeable i'm just gonna add a little bit more product in the front part with brows you guys it is much of a trial and error you're gonna like fix one spot and then not like something and have to touch it up again so like don't even worry i'm literally always go back and forth between the concealer the brush the everything you guys because that's just how brows are like in general and usually they take me a while but i've honestly mastered them that they don't take me as long anymore and i'm spending a lot of time on it just because i'm teaching you guys so obviously okay so this is the finished brow i'm gonna go do this side really quick and then i'm gonna brush them out a little bit i'm gonna go do this eye off camera and i'll come back and show you guys the difference and whatever okay you guys so both brows are done don't get yourself too worked up if your brows look kind of different from each other remember brows are sisters not twins you guys i have been living by that quote since like probably high school um because i heard desi perkins say it first i don't know who she might have not started but you know i heard her say it. she's my favorite beauty um influencer youtuber and she said that and i live by it ever since because sometimes i get myself so worked up over my brows but now i'm like you know what sisters not twins okay um we're gonna move on to face makeup because the brows are done as i said i don't do any eye makeup so if you're looking for eye makeup it came to the wrong place i'm sorry so we're gonna use some primer for my primer my favorite favorite primer is the elf poreless putty primer i have a little bit left in this one so i'm gonna use up what i have and then i'll probably have to get into this new one a little bit i love this one so much and i do kind of switch my primer every once in a while and use some different ones that i have because i get a lot of primers in my ipsy bags but this has just been my favorite like i always end up going back to this one this one just gives me the most perfect finish on my face it's super super smooth like do you guys see that so i'm just gonna put some on every inch of my face also with your makeup you want to make sure that you are doing your skincare before doing your makeup make sure that your skin is nice and moisturized and you have your spf on so i'm just putting this on my face i did my skincare this morning a few hours ago we're all set okay guys so we're gonna go in with some foundation so my favorite foundation is the maybelline fit me matte and poreless foundation i might be stuck in 2015 you guys but this is my favorite foundation ever nothing has topped this foundation for me no high-end foundation has no drugstore none of them this is my favorite every time i try a different foundation i'm like this is just not it obviously buy your foundation based on your skin type if you're new to makeup i recommend maybe going to like a high and Sephora or something to get tested for a color because it is hard to shade match yourself when you don't know anything about makeup and I don't think drugstores do shade matching that's the thing that sucks about drugstore makeup is you can't shade match so if you have the money and you want to buy a few different ones and test them out on your skin then yeah you can do that but I guess if you buy like four of these it's like the same thing as spending
spending money on like a high-end one probably less so you could do that but um i've just been doing my makeup for so long that i just kind of guess and do what works and i know how to like work with it if it doesn't match exactly if it's too light or too dark so anyways so i actually tend to have dry to normal skin um i would say in certain areas it's normal in certain areas it's a little dry i wouldn't necessarily say that it's ever oily however the matte and poreless one still really works well for me i think because my skin's dry to normal i think if you're someone with super dry skin you don't want to use a matte foundation however i have found with this matte foundation versus other matte foundations that it's not drying at all and it's not super matte so like you'll get a matte finish and it'll look really clean and smooth but it'll still give you a glowy look but not a dewy look if that makes sense so you don't have to worry if you have like super oily skin it giving you like too much of a no like it'll look like a good glow and i think that's why i like it so much as for like the dewy one from maybelline fit me it's a little bit too like dewy i don't know i'm not really a fan i just like this one better i like the finish so i was using shade 120 for a while and it's been too dark for me and it's like orange <laughs> but i like i'm really good at like fixing it up like i'll put like the right concealer and stuff but i recently picked up a new color which is the 115 which is ivory so i'm gonna try to mix these two a little bit together to see what what color it gives me so i think that these two mixed together will definitely be good also you don't need too much foundation sometimes i'll use like a little too much and like the best part about these bottles is you can like scoop the excess foundation back into them when i found that out i was literally amazed but also these can be annoying because a little bit too much will come out so pretty much i usually if i'm mixing shades which i am today i'll start with like a foundation brush and mix them together on my hands this is the morphe m536 foundation brush and i'm just putting it all on my brush and i'm just gonna start painting it onto my face not worrying about like really blending it in yet because I like to do that separate with a beauty blender so this just makes it easier to like spread onto my face so we're just gonna paint it on there make sure that we're getting all corners you guys can kind of see this is a little bit orange still even though I mixed the two colors I probably could have just done with just the ivory one but it's okay Maybelline Fit Me has so many different shades like their shade range is, is insane so it is a little bit hard to find your shade but I love the shade range like you know we always stand foundations with a good shade range you guys so yeah you guys can see it looks very orange so when it looks orange like this i usually will just blend it down into my neck and usually i'll wear like a necklace so you can't even tell um but i hate that it looks like this because it takes me so much longer to do my makeup because i have to like make it match luckily with this hoodie you would never even be able to tell that it doesn't match fully okay so you guys can see i brushed it all on and it's like streaky so we're gonna go in with the beauty blender and just smooth it all out so i'm just using a regular beauty blender from sephora and i'm just basically patting that into my skin this beauty blender is wet i like to wet them and have them be damp i feel like they just work so much better when they're wet um and you can get cheaper beauty blenders too i also have this elf one which gets huge which i love um real techniques has good ones as well which i personally like the beauty blender one the best but it is a little bit more on the pricey side so you know we gotta be on a budget sometimes i do use a lot of um drugstore makeup products but there also are some of mine that aren't drugstore but since i don't wear makeup that much a lot of my stuff lasts me a really long time which is good so it just looks super smooth if you guys can kind of tell i'm um, just making sure to get every little crack and crevice on my face i usually do like to go over my eyelids just because i don't like when they look a different color than my face so um i'm just going over there and of course this eye is still super dry so we're just gonna have to deal with that you want to make sure to blend up on into your hairline as much as you can and also your ears make sure you get like behind your neck right here that's if you are wearing a shade that's a little too dark for you you want to make sure that you're really focusing on doing all these things so that it looks normal Definitely Definitely don't be walking outside with a shade that's drastically darker than you because it's just gonna look crazy but if it's a little bit darker or a little orange you know you can work with it kind of like how I am right now but I'm not influencing you guys to go out and get a shade that's darker than you to look like tan or whatever because that could end up just ending badly and looking crazy guys okay next we're gonna go in with some concealer so as I said I love the color girl true blend concealer I accidentally bought the wrong shade of course I have two shades one is light nude and one is light ivory um the light ivory I use for my eyebrows and light nude I was using for my face um but i accidentally bought classic ivory which i don't know which one i was trying to buy but pretty much i'm just gonna have to deal with it it looks a little bit yellow you guys will be able to tell when i start to apply it but it doesn't look bad when i blend it out also i do just want to say that i actually still kind of do the whole like triangle under the eye look but i have seen on tiktok that it's better to use less concealer because it'll lift your eye up a little more so i'm trying to like focus on doing that but obviously sometimes i forget because it's just my typical like habit to do so i'm gonna kind of show you guys um the right way to not that the other way is wrong but the way that people recommend to do it which i'm actually trying to like start doing more so pretty much you're just supposed to put a little bit in the corner here and then a little bit on the outer corner 
so you guys can see that and then i'll put one line down my nose here and then i will put a little bit on my forehead just for a little highlight and then i'm just gonna put a line right here and you guys will see why i'm doing that in a second just just hold on um and then a little bit on my chin and then i'm going in with a stick bronzer which okay i'm gonna be honest with you guys i kind of messed up because i put this in my little makeup organizer in a slot that was too small for it so the bottom part of it that's supposed to cover this little brush is stuck in there so yeah but this is the trustique cream what is it color plus contour cheek stick this is the brazilian bronze shade i got this in an ipsy bag and i really like it like i honestly would purchase it again pretty much i just use this right here and i'm not going to give you guys any tips on where to put your contour and your bronzer because i don't even know if i do it correctly i just kind of do what i know um and it ends up looking fine but definitely like watch a video on that from like an actual makeup artist because yeah so you guys see i just do like that and then that my alarm's going off hold on one second all right you guys i had to do something really quick hopefully i can still blend this out so i'm taking my beauty blender and i'm just gonna use this end and i'm gonna blend out the concealer really quick it's like drying up which is not good because i let it sit for too long i really need to get a different shade of this concealer um because it is super yellow and i'm not liking it but we're gonna go with it okay i'm just gonna blend out all the concealer and then we'll go back in and blend out the contour contour um and then i'm just doing my nose i don't really do nose contour that often sometimes i'll do it but i don't know i don't really like how it looks on me that much all the time usually i'll do it with like a quick powder bronzer but i won't actually do like a full contour and now i'm going to take my foundation brush again and i'm going to blend out the contour and i'm just blending it in circular motions making sure that it's all blended and now i'm going back with my beauty blender and just cleaning it up and i know it looks like i dab on my face like really hard um i kind of do okay and I feel like I look super sun-kissed right now. I don't know. Okay, so now I'm going to be going in with the oop, Cody Airspun setting powder. It is cracked, so it like makes such a mess. I need to get a new one. Um, I absolutely love the setting powder. It is a drugstore one, and it's super cheap, and it does not give you any flashback, and it's like just the best. Um, I'm taking a Real Techniques Beauty Blender, and I'm just putting it on there, and I'm going to set underneath my eyes. I definitely don't bake under my eyes as much as I used to because I just have noticed that, yes, it helps with creasing um, the setting powder, but baking doesn't really like give me much of a difference sometimes it just makes it look drier and i accidentally put way too much powder you really don't need this much powder that's another thing i was under the impression that you needed so much you really don't so while that's just sitting i'm gonna let it sit for like a second and i'm really quick gonna do like my powder bronzer um and contour i do like to do cream and powder because i just feel like the powder really lets it get set into my face so i'm using the morphe e4 brush and it's just this like angled brush with the anastasia bronzer in the shade saddle i absolutely love this bronzer look how much i've used but i'm just going in the same spots that i put the cream contour in and I'm doing circular motions and then for my forehead you guys can kind of see I'm pulling it towards my hairline so that it's like blended in still kind of like patting it in as well okay and then I'm going to put some setting powder here so that we can just make this contour nice and sharp and then I'm just setting here where my laugh lines would be because sometimes I do crease there um, but I don't like to do it for too long and then I'm gonna wipe off the powder so I'm taking this real techniques brush this is a buffing brush I'm taking the powder out of, off my under eye and I'm just pulling it out to the side but kind of like pressing it into my skin at the same time and then I'm just gonna take off the rest of the powder I definitely still have super bad creasing under my eyes. I hate that. I'm trying so hard to get rid of it, but it's just genetics, I think. Next, we're going to go into some blush, you guys. So recently, I've been using the Ofra blush in the shade Bellini. It's a very, like, light peach color. I do typically use the NARS Orgasm one, which is more of a pink color. I have this mini sample that I got, like, a year ago that I still have, and I love it so much, but I kind of wanted to switch it up a little bit, and I feel like this one looks a little bit more neutral, so I really like that. So I'm going to take this. I got this in an Ipsy bag. But I'm just taking this blush brush from Ulta Beauty and I'm just taking a little bit on the brush and tapping it off And we're just gonna focus on the apples of our cheeks in circular motions I absolutely love blush and I used to neglect it so much when I was younger and now it's like my favorite step because it just makes me look so cute and it makes everyone look cute. I just love it. And I also like to put a little bit on my temples. I got this technique from Desi and Katie. They both do it. Um, and also a little bit at the tip of the nose just looks super, super cute. I put a little bit too much, but we're going to blend it out. So I'm going to take this Morphe R2 brush. This is a powder brush and I'm going to take my Maybelline Fit Me powder. This is for normal. It says normal to dry. It's in the shade one. 25 which is nude beige and i'm just going to take a little bit of this pressed powder just to blend everything out i only use a very little bit though 
and again blending in circular motions outward blending out that nose so it doesn't look super red i don't want to look like rudolph and next i'm going to be taking my morphe continuous setting mist and i'm going to just spray my whole face with this I absolutely love this setting spray because it is a mist so that just like is perfect and I do like to spray my setting spray or setting mist before I put my highlight on because I just feel like it lets the highlight pop even more so I'm just gonna let this dry a little little bit and then I'm going to be taking my morphe m451 brush with the Anastasia Amrezi highlighter I absolutely love this highlighter so much I've used like so much of it so we're gonna take this brush and we're just gonna take a little bit of the highlight and not gonna lie you guys I'm still into the super glowy highlight I love that glow like we're just gonna put right here like look at that like it is just beautiful i don't know um and then i'm just gonna put some on my nose like in the center the bridge of my nose a little bit on my cupid's bow and then i'm just gonna take a little bit and put it here brow bone and i know this is a really big brush to do it with but i just usually will dab a little little bit into my inner corner okay and that is that with my face so next i would usually go in with my lashes i don't think i'm gonna put lashes on today even though you guys love when i wear the lashes um it is a lot of work and i just really don't want to put them on today i'm not going anywhere but i do love these specific lashes let me show you guys them really quick just so you guys can like get an idea of what i would use for my lashes because everyone was complimenting my lashes in my last few videos so i actually bought this huge pack of lashes i think it has like 13 pairs in it on amazon like a few months ago this was super super cheap i think i paid like less than 15 dollars for all of these pairs of lashes and you could honestly get multiple uses out of these too they look super long and dramatic but of course you just cut them to fit your eye length which is what i did and they're all one length so you know you play around with it however you want to and i am obsessed with them i love them more than any other lashes i have worn but i'm not going to do lashes today just because i don't feel like it but i'll just give you guys a quick overview so typically when i put lashes on i would first curl my eyelashes and then I would apply, apply a little bit of mascara to my top lashes just a little bit um, And then I would go in and apply the lashes. I don't know where my lash glue is So I do use the Ardell like stick lash glue. It's like the twist off one It's not like the tube, um, but not gonna lie I think I might have left it back in Jersey at home because I don't know where it is So I can't really show you guys that today But usually I'll just brush it on the lash and let it cool off for a little bit let it cool off let it dry for a little bit i'll blow on it and once it's like you want it to be really tacky when you put it on you don't want it to be super liquidy and then you can just place it on your eye i personally don't use tweezers i find it much easier to put the lashes on with my fingers but i know that tweezers can make it easier for some people just me personally i guess i'm weird but it took me a while to even be able to put on lashes never mind be a pro at it because i'm definitely not a pro at it i'm not there yet um but i know some people literally are like one two three done i don't know how but i'd also put bottom mascara on after my lashes i don't think i mentioned that but today we're just gonna do mascara keep it simple I'm just gonna curl my lashes so I'm just gonna curl one side and then I'm gonna be taking the essence lash princess um, sculpted volume mascara I've heard about this all on tiktok and I had to buy it. it has the nicest little brush and it's super cheap as well and I'm just going to apply my mascara um, you don't want your mascara to look super clumpy you don't want spider lashes this is probably my current favorite mascara I get a lot of questions about what mascaras I like and typically I just use whatever mascaras come in my ipsy bags so I'm not like ever really repurchasing mascaras or like riding for like specific mascaras but I decided to purchase this one after seeing it on tiktok so many times and i'm just gonna do the other eye really quick okay you guys so that is my eyes now we're just gonna do lips super quick so for lips i like to just put on some chapstick so i'm just using this bliss text typically i'll only use like these types of chapsticks when i'm in the house because i know it's not sanitary at all and i do have makeup on my lips that i didn't wipe off and i am not a lipstick wearer but i love me some lip gloss you guys um i guess i'll just use my essence one so this is the essence shine wet look lip gloss and i found this from juicy jazz on youtube she showed it in one of her like i think it was like an ultra shop with me video and i love her and she recommended this so i'm like i have to try it i love the little brush that it comes with and it's such a nice size it was very inexpensive and it's just a simple clear gloss and it's also super moisturizing so you don't really need the chapstick underneath i just like to this lip gloss it smells bomb like ugh, i don't even know what it smells like it kind of smells like cherries it just smells so good so i really like it um but i'm gonna take this headband off we're not gonna do anything to my hair because you guys already know the deal i am it is during the week right now i'm in school i don't even need to really be doing my makeup never mind my hair let me just fix this ponytail though because there's a piece that's like really sticking out but anyways i really hope that you guys did enjoy this video i hope that it was helpful for you guys and all of you who have been asking to see how i do my makeup i really hope that i did a good job at explaining it for you guys but that is it for today's video if you guys liked it make sure to give it a big thumbs up comment down below hit that subscribe button and i'll see you all in my next video bye guys